What's going on there, guys? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It's the Earth Master here on this Sunday, uh, December 11th, 2022. It's about 11.57 a.m. here, California time. A 1.5 earthquake out in Southern California. The latest earthquake there listed up on the map. Uh, right off the bat, though, we're going to check out the activity, or I should say lack of activity, at the... Um, Mauna Loa Volcano. Uh, latest updated information put out here from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory folks show that uh, Mauna Loa may still be active. Incandescence is restricted to the cone that formed around the Fisher 3 vent. Uh, there was no observable acti uh, activity anywhere on the rest of the flow field overnight. So just very little activity currently. No lava movement in the F3 vent. Uh, the channels below the vent appear drained of lava and no longer feed the main uh, flow front. So things are slowing down, continuing here at the uh, Mauna Loa uh, Trimmer, which is a signal associated with subsurface uh, fluid movement, magma, is no longer detectable. Uh, summit and northeast rift zone inflation started on December 7th and is continuing. So we either got a blockage down there uh, preventing that uh, flow uh, to continue to come up at the surface, which I think is likely. Um, so that may mean uh, we could see uh, an eruption here possible in the near future. I just don't see it tapering off like that. Um, if this was done, then we should still see the, uh, the flow or at least the tilt meter level out, not continue to inflate at a rapid rate. So I think uh, there's a little bit of uncertainty as to what's going on here. Uh, and they mentioned it here, the significance of the continuing inflation while the flow field is inactive is not yet clear. I, th I, I think there's one word for that, a blockage. Uh, and that could spell trouble uh, for a, a possible future eruption, but we'll watch that. Uh, it is common for eruptions to wax and wane, we get that, or pause completely. But none of the eight recorded eruptions of Mauna Loa's northeast rift zone returned to high eruption rates after those de uh, decreased significantly. So, watching it, seeing what happens. Uh, latest multimedia field here. Let's see what we got for some images around this area. Um, shows, obviously, some steam and, and uh, gases, volcanic gases here coming out from the region. But no fountains of lava, no visible lava whatsoever. Um, so I, I think there might be uh, some blockage there uh, with this eruption. So we'll, we'll just watch it, folks. See how it plays out. Okay, earthquake activity across the region here of the West Coast. Uh, got a little bit of movement off the coast of Oregon early this morning. About 9 o'clock here, a couple hours ago, into the Blanco Fracture Zone of 4.0 at uh, 10 kilometers deep. Also some activity up into Seattle. Um, looks like one more earthquake there in the Puget Sound of Washington outside of Seattle. 12 kilometers deep along the Seattle Fault Zone. Uh, for that 2.4 coming in about 5 o'clock my time. Uh, here along the West Coast, California region still seeing some activity up and down the plate boundary. No major uptick, no major unusual movement. Uh, we got one earthquake here north of Riverside. 1.6 just off of the uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone, San Bernardino section. This here is kind of where this uh, almost joins the uh, plate boundary here, but not quite. Either way, a uh, little bit of movement on the San Andreas Fault, the southern segment, a 1.7 coming in yesterday. Uh, and then also a couple of small quakes down here on the Brawley Seismic Zone. Uh, this one coming in uh, overnight, about one, a 1.2 magnitude earthquake. Uh, in Texas, uh, had a little bit of activity yesterday and today. Uh, earliest one, or at least the latest one, a 2.9, just after midnight. They're outside of Pecos, and uh, some movement again up around the Oklahoma area with the latest earthquake, a 2.4, right around this region where we've been seeing a little bit of swarming taking place there, north of the uh, Chickasha area, outside of the Minco region. One earthquake up into Kansas as well. That one coming in near Danville looks like a 3.2. Uh, just earlier this morning time period, not for sure what's out there. Um, let me see what we got. Fields, obviously, right? 
hard to tell sometimes though what's out here and most of these look like some type of uh, farmhouses out here out enjoying the beautiful countryside of Kansas love that state our right, eastern portion of the country pretty quiet uh, we did see some movement here off the coast of Mexico uh, actually it looks like it's just inland a 6.0 coming in about 6 30 my time here just a few hours ago uh, it was felt pretty broadly over the area only 18 kilometers deep and uh, it is in that zone there along the middle america trench that sees a lot of earthquake activity and some bigger much bigger than the 6.0 magnitude that we've seen uh, this morning so i haven't heard of any major damage or anything like that uh, all the pagers there are are for the most part in the green to the yellow range but definitely seeing a little bit of activity ramping up here uh, into this region. Uh, prior to that, we did see a 4.1 up north and then one earthquake down here along the Gu uh, Guatemala area, 191 kilometers deep here uh, into a portion of the Middle America Trench after the uh, 6.0 here in Mexico. So overall broad seismic activity um, kicking up there it looks like. Uh, also down in the Costa Rica area, I know we've seen some movement there last night. Uh, it's still there on the Earthquake 3D globe, but it's not on the um, not on the USGS map. So there's definitely a pretty good uptick in earthquake activity along this region over the last 24 hours. Uh, up here also around the British Virgin Islands area, looks like some activity early this morning, just after midnight of 4.1. And uh, some other earthquake activity within the region. Also, Puerto Rico, southwestern edge here, getting in on the swarming. A couple different troughs here and trenches up north, putting a little squeeze on the area. It's almost always swarming there in that area of Puerto Rico. I guess that's a place to be if you want to feel some earthquakes. Uh, down into the south, Chile area. One earthquake from yesterday, a 4.5. But looking at the map here shows, uh, uh, well... We see a 4.1 up north uh, and a couple other smaller earthquakes uh, into the Peru Chile Trench. 4.1 not showing up here on the USGS map, but it is just centered up here around the Peru area. Uh, some activity down south here along the South Sandwich Islands. 4.9 coming in earlier this morning. Pretty uh, somewhat, well, 35 kilometers deep here, but it's really south um, on the very southern end here of the trench zone. We have been noticing a little bit of activity ramping up here uh, over the past couple weeks. Out here along the plate boundary, Antarctica region, South America or uh, African area, well south of South Africa. Um, they have this. Wait a minute, stand by for a second here. They have this 5.1 set south of, south of Africa. But I would say it's way south. I don't even know if I would use uh, the uh, uh, Africa in the word here because this is kind of outside the southwest Indian Ridge. But okay, either way, 5.1 coming in. Also up around the Johannesburg area, I've seen a 4.4 coming in just a couple hours ago. Uh, not a big earthquake, but earthquake activity here doesn't really happen all that often. A little odd quake. Um. One earthquake down here in Australia. This is another zone that really doesn't see too much activity. 4.6 coming in at about 6.30 this morning time period. Now look at historical data. Regionally does not show a whole lot of movement uh, in this area. It looks like maybe we did have a 4.5 um, within the vicinity, about 30 miles or so of today's little uh, earthquake there in Australia uh, since about 1900 or so, but you know, these earthquakes uh, are just super, not really all that common out here in Australia. All right, uh, let's see here around the Fiji Islands area, 4.8 coming in just a couple hours ago, it looks like. Uh, 603 kilometers deep. That's a deep one on the globe here. We can see that raised off of the uh, globe pretty nicely. That's going to be these rings here. Also some activity just coming into the New Zealand area. North Island, New Zealand coming in with a 3.2. And let me see if I can see that on the 
seismographs. I'm not really seeing anything picking up here across New Zealand. But uh, definitely showing up here on the map. And uh, activity kind of uh, kicking up a little bit around the area. Throughout the Indonesia region, most of this activity here uh, from yesterday. We did have some further activity up around the Japan region, around the Izu Trench. 4.9, uh, just coming in about 6 o'clock this morning time period. A couple other earthquakes there off the coast of Japan early in the morning, about 4 o'clock or so. Uh, so we've seen roughly oh, about 4 or 5 earthquakes here within the last 24 hours, most of those within the last 12 hours uh, along this area of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, so might want to watch this zone. It is showing quite a bit of increasing activity. Still seeing a pretty good cluster around the Philippines, uh, Indonesia region. Uh, there is uh, quite a bit of activity here. Listed on the map, on the graph here, some newer movement in the white circles. Uh, a lot of older activity here across the region. Uh, late last night but we're still seeing a little increasing uh, regional pressure with those new circles there on the map uh, eastern afghanistan seen some activity yesterday and late last night looks like they did see one more earthquake a 4.7 there uh, into the mountainous regions there and also western iran a 4.7 just after midnight Either way, um, you know, a lot of forward pressure movement trying to work its way across the area here, up around the Himalayas westward, uh, but also putting a lot of strain over here around the northwest corner of the Pacific Plate. Uh, still a couple areas that are watching. We're watching for some potential movement. Just really hasn't caught up all that much in those zones, in those quiet zones. 5.3 yesterday from... Uh, um, that earthquake there around the Aleutian Trench. Uh, mainland of Alaska area, a little swarming north of Anchorage. Uh, out here in this uh, little, I think it's like a little valley or plateau area. Uh, probably a valley. Uh, a couple small earthquakes, 13 of them to be exact in this area. Uh, no major earthquake movement though currently to take note of. Uh, let's see what else we got. One earthquake way up north into the Canada regions. Way up here, 4.2. Somerset Island, 4.2, 10 kilometers deep. Uh, the rest of the Atlantic Ocean looks pretty calm and clear currently, aside from the movement down south. And um, earthquake activity across the big island, uh, most of it confined to Kilauea Volcano right around the crater area. This region has been seeing quite a bit of movement as far as earthquake activity goes. I want to check out the uh, Kilauea Volcano real quick and see what their latest informational statement is on the uh, uh, for that volcano. I'm going to check out these seismograph stations here real quick and see what we have. And they're not working. At least a couple of those aren't. And a couple are. It looks like there's been a few earthquakes here over the past 12 hours. And the latest updated information here was put out, looks like, yesterday. Um, no significant changes. Uh, the eruption there of Kilauea Volcano still continues within the crater. Uh, eruption of lava from the western vent of the active lava lake and onto the crater floor continued, uh, but with greatly diminished, diminished activity. Uh, over the past 24 hours, the active part of the lava lake has not significantly changed. Um, tilt recorders have been stable within long-term trends over the past week. Volcanic tremor remains above background level, so... Activity still continuing within that region. Um, I've seen if they were going to mention anything about these unusual earthquakes there. Because we have seen a pretty good uptick in earthquake activity at Kilauea Volcano uh, since the eruption there in Mauna Loa. But for now, I'm just kind of watching it, uh, seeing what uh, 
seeing how it plays out. I still think uh, Mauna Loa is not done yet. Um, you know, the tilt meters kind of show us that. All right, Yellowstone National Park up here. Some, earth some earthquake activity last night, it looks like, but uh, overall this morning time period, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on across Yellowstone. And solar weather activity. Haven't really seen any major uptick in flares overnight. Things are just kind of uh, staying neutral for now. We do have numerous sunspots facing us, quite a few large region, large regions as well. 3162, 3163 over here, and a, another new sunspot. All going to be rotating into Earth view here pretty soon. And uh, it's been quite a while since we've seen it this active with this many sunspots here on the sun, the Earth side facing. Um, but not a whole lot of potential here for any major flaring currently. So we'll continue to watch that and uh, see how it plays out. Right now, overall threat of the flaring activity looks like 95% chance for a C flare. M flare at 20, X flare around 1%. Uh, not expecting any major solar weather conditions either, folks. Things are just kind of on the uh, quiet side on the sun. Active in the numbers, but very low activity in the output department. These things are not wanting to uh, produce anything yet. So it's just kind of been that way. Um, we've seen some strong flares in the past, over the past few months and earlier this year. But, man, things have died off tremendously across this... Uh, the solar weather department all right guys i'm gonna jump off here i got some major school work to do today my head's overloaded right now uh i gotta do a couple of symposiums and and lectures and all sorts of fun stuff that's due tomorrow for semester for the uh, finals week here so man it's just sometimes i get overloaded school work though it's definitely informal it's and in, informative i love learning new stuff a lot of it i already know but you can you know what one can never know uh, everything i think anyway uh, there's always something new to learn so i'm going to get started on that anyway have a good day folks we'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight with the update peace out